Does Old Navy make the best men's activewear? Let's find out now. Hey guys, Nick here, and on this channel, I review a ton of the best activewear, athleisure shirts, and brands on the market, and then I design my own based on fit, feel, quality, and much more. All right, so today I'll be doing another review on a company that most of you are probably familiar with, Old Navy. Most of us know Old Navy today as a brand that has been around forever, and where you can go and get affordable clothes that aren't the highest quality, but get the job done for a little while. You may or may not have also owned some Old Navy t-shirts that are now fixtured in some old family 4th of July pictures as well. For those of you who don't know Old Navy, here's a little background on the company and why I decided to review them. Old Navy opened their first store in Coma, California in 1994 and was the fastest retailer to ever reach $1 billion in sales within four years. Old Navy is owned by the parent company Gap Incorporated that owns several brands including Banana Republic and Athleta. In 2011, Old Navy Active, which is what we're going to be looking at today, was started and has become widely popular around the U.S. as an affordable retailer of athletic clothing. Old Navy Activewear has a minimal aesthetic and overall some nice pieces, but you're definitely going to get what you pay for with this brand. I've seen a lot of people out and about wearing Old Navy and have worn their athletic shirts for years myself, which is why I think this brand deserved a full review. All right, so as always, I'm gonna to go to the website, sort by best selling, and choose one of the most popular shirts that I think I will like best. They all look very similar on the website, but the one thing I ended up going with was the Breathe On t-shirt for men. It's priced around $20, so it is super cheap, and I bought tons of these shirts over the years. The website says that this shirt is a soft, breathable, stretch knit that feels good with all types of moves. The Breathe On t-shirt is also equipped with go dry, cool wicking technology, which is supposed to keep you dry and cool but who knows what that really means. The shirt is made up of 95% polyester and a 5% spandex blend. It also says that the fit is more relaxed throughout the body. I did some quick review scrubbing of the product and most customers are complimenting the price of the shirt and then the next thing I saw is customers were complimenting the fit and the lightweight material. One customer said, they are great for working out in and casual wear. They are comfortable, lightweight, and breathable. On the negative review side, most of the negative comments are coming from the durability of the fabric and how it also feels in the heat. Some customers have a problem with the fabric peeling just after a few uses. Other customers say it's super hot when working out in as well. All right, well, let's get into my review. At first glance, this shirt looks visually appealing and seems like it would wear very nicely. I'm usually not the biggest fan of knitted shirts like this because I live in a very humid state and knit shirts tend to cling to my body and don't perform well with sweat. Even knitted shirts in the wintertime still seem to cling to my body and underperform in my opinion. I do like the cut and color of the shirt and it seems to be constructed very straightforward with regular shoulder seams and nothing too fancy. When trying this shirt on for the first time, I noticed that it fit my body really well. The chest had enough room and the length was great overall too. The sleeves on the arms may be a tad long but it didn't really bother me. The crew neck is decent but it isn't as durable as I thought it would be especially after a few washes. The next step in this review is to put this shirt to the test. I tested it during my workouts, I exercised my dogs, I wore it to the beach, and just hung around the house on the weekends. When working out, I noticed that the shirt had some great stretch and didn't constrict any of my body movements at all. The fabric was pretty lightweight as well and felt nice when relaxing inside and just hanging out. The overall fit was pretty spot on and I went with a large as my chest is a bit bigger at a size 42. The shirt had plenty of room and overall was a pretty nice fit. Now let's move on to some of the cons of the shirt. For these reviews, I really pick apart the shirt because my goal is to create the best shirt based on all my learnings and the reviews. Okay, so it did get hot and sweaty in my workouts inside and outside because of its knit light fabric, which I really wasn't a fan of at all. It wasn't that the shirt was heavy by any means, but the material just made me feel hotter than normal. I did notice that the material felt low quality and could see why some customers were having a problem with it not being durable. I'm also not a huge fan of the stripes on the side of the arms, but that's really just a personal design preference. Other than those few cons, I think that it's a decent shirt for the cost and you definitely are getting what you pay for. I'd rate this shirt a 6.1 out of 10, which is a decent score. I think overall, if you go with this shirt, you're going to have to buy several pretty frequently as the quality is just not 100% there. Some last notes on the Breathe On t-shirt. It was hot, it was low quality material, a knit-like feel, but it did have great sizing and was decent looking overall. All right guys, well that sums up this review and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have ever tried out this shirt, please leave me a comment below telling me things that you liked and disliked, 
as it will really help us create a great product for the future. Stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon and do me a favor by liking and subscribing to the channel. Thanks guys.